Could you tell me why you organize this exhibition, beautiful exhibition here? Uh, well, we are in a global world and the discussion is not only in our Western world anymore and we like to show a little bit people, the collectors and the audience here in Hong Kong what the history of the gallery is. And we tried from the beginning, from the early 80s, to really also emphasize and support women artists. And these here, those days we were very young, like Cindy Sherman, Jenny Olsa, Barbara Kruger, Rosemarie Trockel, and Louis Lawler. And, and Cindy Sherman. They, Cindy Sherman, yes. And now they are, uh, we hope, you know, they are, have developed in a way that they're really important for a younger generation of women artists. They need, you know, in order to really be able to, to, to feel confident, you need role models, you need all the women who were able to make it in the art world. And this is why we thought it's the right moment, because this discussion is here as well. And what, what kind of public do you accept from where? Well, from all over the world, but of course we are very interested also in the Chinese and Asian, uh, Asian uh, public. You know, because they they have the same problem, or even a stronger problem. You know, in their society, the role of women. You know, they only slowly try to get. The, I mean, the, the, also their world is dominated by uh, it's a male-dominated mm. world. So uh, we thought, and these are artists who really also entered the market. You know, not on a higher level and. That's why I think it's important. But it's it's not so inexpensive, right? No, but they were, I mean, 40 years ago they were not very expensive, but today they are. But yes. still, you know, when you see the market situation between men and women, there is still a difference. Even though they are really, I mean, like Cindy Sherman is art history, of course she's yes. not cheap. But she... Uh, you still see that there is something we have to struggle for. Merci.